Welcome back, our dear viewers, and I would like to welcome in the studio here uh, the former chairman of Kuwait uh, uh, Economic Society, Mr. Amr Tamimi. Uh, Mr. Amr Tamimi, we'd like to welcome you. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, <coughs> did you vote? Yes, I did. Early in the morning. Oh, so yes. you are from the morning people, huh? Yes. <laughs> morning guys. <laughs> yes. Uh, yani, uh, Mr. Tamimi, uh, Let's talk about the atmosphere a little bit of uh, the election uh, day. You know, it's summertime, uh, people fasting. So some people say, oh, there will be no, you know, uh, not much voters like percentage wise, but uh, we say, no, there will be. So w what's your uh, opinion? Yeah, I, I think there are many people who are uh, bored with voting, you know, so mm -hmm. because it has been done too frequently. Uh, I mean, every dissolving assemblies and all ev that. Every uh, almost uh, in, in the last two years, we had three elections. I mean, this is the third one. Mm -hmm. We had one in February 2012, another one in uh, December 2012, yeah. and now we have one here, July 2013. Uh, but this is because uh, of a uh, court decision. I mean, I mean, the, mm -hmm. uh, the constitutional court decided that uh, there were uh, irregularities and decided to dissolve uh, the parliament. So, so I think it it happens and uh, and uh, it takes and it takes place in that in many countries, many yeah. democratic countries. But uh, I hope that people will understand the situation, and hopefully, this new elected parliament mm -hmm. could last uh, for the whole period, I mean, for yeah. the whole four-year session, uh, according to the Constitution. And I hope that there will be some uh, cooperation between the executive branch and the, uh, the uh, legislative branch, uh, so uh, the, the people of Kuwait will benefit of such harmony and, terqu and terquality uh, in order to uh, uh, have our uh, laws and and uh, regulation amended uh, to uh, help implementing uh, the, uh, the, the economic plans and the social plans of the country for the next uh, generation 20 years yeah. or 25 years yeah. uh, uh, mr T tamimi we are uh, like uh, there are some uh, obstacles nowadays you know people say some reports people fasting it's hot weather i mean uh <coughs> do the uncontrollable uncontrollable uh, controllable uh, elements affecting the elections such as the fasting and hot weather lack of time as they say you know people were up late at night doing uh, some prayers doing some uh, uh, religious you know, uh, obligations. I mean, if, if can we still call this election as uh, a fair one? The, of course, you know, I think uh, most of the elections uh, in Kuwait were fair, mm -hmm. and this should be fair also, because I mean, uh, uh, as, as far as tra transparency, uh, mm -hmm. you have the transparency. Yes. Uh, you have observers, uh, international, international observers, observers who, yeah. who can uh, observe uh, wh what's going on and uh, they can see that uh, most of the candidates have the rights also to, to present their cases through the, through the media, mm -hmm. all sorts of media, newspapers, uh, TV station, radio station, they have, they have also now the social media uh, to help them to, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I think it's fair. Uh, as far as you know, the voting time. This is uh, this is by law. You know, you cannot. Yeah, you, you cannot change. You cannot uh, do anything about it. You know. Do you think people are m motivated, uh, Mr. Tamimi? I mean, what's the motivation for people now to come, wake up, or go out of their home and vote? You mean motivated to vote? Yeah, to vote. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, most of the people, except those who have uh, a political mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, position about the, uh, the election law, uh, most of the people uh, mm -hmm. would vote. I, I, I would expect, you know, if in normal circumstances, I mean, if, if uh, we consider this uh, situation is normal, I think we, we will have between 50 to 60 percent uh, turnout. 
Yeah, that's 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 uh, very impressive. Also, I hope so yeah. because uh, in, in most elections in Kuwait, you have at least sixty percent turnout. Uh, maybe it's the average, but still, and in, in these kind of circumstances, dissolving the assembly three, four times in the same year. I mean, uh, or the last two years, for example, uh, this is would be impressive. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that you have uh, elements uh, which might uh, reduce. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. the percentage. How to reduce that? Yeah, I, uh, first, f first of all, you have people who decided to boycott for political reasons. Mm -hmm. You have people who boycott elections uh, by nature, you know, uh -huh. because they... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because they uh, don't, uh, they believe maybe they that. are too yeah. old to go to, exactly. to vote, or they are ill, or they have uh, certain uh, positions about elections in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have uh, people who are... Uh, sort of uh, uh, complacent uh, they they don't uh, they don't like mm -hmm. to go and uh, and vote uh, in, uh, in such a weather yes and maybe because of ramadan also mm -hmm. but i i still expect that uh, the percentage will not be less than 50 percent mm -hmm. uh, uh, mr tamimi okay let's a uh, little bit uh, go uh, from the uh, shift uh, from the voters to the uh, candidates now. Yes. I mean, there are some certain candidates, they want to squeeze their agenda in, 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 in that race, for example, and make their goals clear and try to communicate with the public with the least means. Is that fair for them? I mean, candidates, they had no time this time, right? I mean, if I want to express my programs, I need at least more than one month. So what do you make out of that? What do you think of that? Well, you know, the candidates mm. uh, talking about their programs or... Uh, yeah. Yeah, their programs, you know, they're not very clear. I mean. Okay. And uh, they don't have a, a straightforward message uh -huh. uh, to explain to the people yes. what they are expected to do mm -hmm. when they become legislators in the parliaments. Uh, many of them mm -hmm. are not really equipped uh, to uh, to present uh, political programs and economic programs. Mm -hmm. Other than that, in Kuwait we have a problem. We don't have uh, legalized political parties. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in, so we and in democratic yeah. uh, countries, uh -huh. you have political parties. They present their political programs. Their goals. And their they uh, and they abide by the political mm -hmm. programs. So you judge any candidate according to the program, not because of uh, his, uh, uh, you know, his color or his, uh, his uh, looks or, or religion, his uh, religion, yeah. belonging to yeah. a certain tribe or yeah. a certain sect. Yeah. No, you, you judge him by his program. Exactly. And you vote to the party, not to the candidate. Mm -hmm. He represents a party. Okay. And, and this is a problem here in Kuwait. I mean, it's, it's true that we have Sort of sub, sub, sub uh, we uh, have sort of de facto, exactly. de facto political organizations, exactly. and uh, they uh, field some of their candidates exactly. uh, in any elections. Uh, uh, but uh, still, you have to have a legalized political or organizations, and you have to allow those organizations or parties uh, to present their programs and to have the electors to judge the candidate by what they present and then to judge their performance mm -hmm. during the uh, parliamentary sessions yeah. uh, in order to see whether they are they are uh, worth being re-elected or not or not yeah do you, do do you think mr tamimi uh, uh, the candidates uh, delivered their messages this in this election to the voters What's that? I mean, do you think they delivered their messages? They were able to deliver their messages, or let's say, sub programs, or s the 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 candidates? Do they were they able to deliver their messages to the voters? Uh, some of them did, yes, but uh -huh. not all of them. Not all of them. Not all who, of them. Who who had the advantage, Mr. Tamimi? Well, I think uh, those who have uh, programs. Uh huh. Those who uh, belong to certain uh, mm -hmm. political groups, although they, uh, those uh, groups, as we mentioned, uh, are not uh, legalized, uh, 
those who are known, you know, I mean, those uh -huh. who, for instance, those they who, had this, uh, political those who, history. who belonged, for instance, to, uh, uh, for the social society. Exactly. I mean, uh, they belong to certain uh, uh, non-profit organization, non-governmental mm -hmm. organization, like, uh, for instance, uh, people who belong to a graduate society, the Kuwait Economic Society, to, to uh, uh, social workers, to uh, uh, teachers' uh, society. The, uh, they have they have uh, a weight behind them to to push for their uh, candidacy mm -hmm. and, uh, and maybe uh, being elected. Uh, how, how about, Mr. Tamimi, the, the ones who were uh, and, uh, ex MPs and uh, uh, dissolved uh, uh, assembly? Do they have more chance than the others? I mean, who was in the assembly? So you probably yeah, had you six months. Of, uh, you have also in, in certain areas, mm -hmm. you have uh, those who are being uh, nominated by the tribes. Uh -huh. And okay. those are being, you know, mm -hmm. supported exactly. by their own by tribe. their tribes. Yeah. Uh, and this is also, uh, uh, you know, a product of uh, our society. Uh, yeah. uh, we have, we have to, to do an alternative for that being, uh, you know, a representative of a tribe or a representative of a yeah. sect. How, 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 how do you overcome that uh, we have to overcome that as we mentioned we to have to have legalized political parties mm -hmm. and also to uh, to amend the electoral law in order to uh, make it more easy for uh, the, uh, the, uh, the voters mm -hmm. to elect people who have uh, programs and uh, they uh, they have identified themselves as Kuwaitis, mm -hmm. rather than being uh, a, a member of a professor. tribe or yeah. a member of sect. Sect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's uh, shift a little bit, uh, Mr. Tamimi, about the system, the organizing, uh, the people who are organizing, uh, who are uh, organizing the election, uh, workers, uh, uh, election voting stations, policemen who supervise the processes. Uh, not to forget the, uh, the first aid workers. Most of the uh, ministers and ministries. I mean, uh, what 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 message can you send them, and what do you think of the whole thing? Or the, or the organization? I think we have to amend the law to allow policemen, uh, uh, people uh, who belong to the military uh, uh, establishment to, to vote, uh, people who have special positions. I mean, every Kuwaiti should be allowed to vote, mm -hmm. regardless of, of his, of his uh, occupation. Yeah. At the same time, we have also to allow young people to vote. To I mean. vote. Oh, right. so you you saying uh, uh, the voter not only 21 and above and uh, non uh, I think we have military to, uh, people to lower the voting okay. age to 18. Okay. In order to allow more, more Kuwaitis to vote, more I mean, to have yeah. a bigger uh, voting uh, majority society. Society. Yeah. Uh, this is this is what we should do. I think. I think that this parliament should tackle such issues and uh, uh, <coughs> how uh, if, if, if we want to uh, evaluate the organization of the election day I mean uh, where they will prepared the interior ministry me, uh, the media the information ministry all these ministries all these worker to make this day where where they well prepared where what uh, prepared for the election day I mean if you I mean, if you want to, uh, if you want to rate out of ten, the ministries and the police uh, and you know all the organizers for this day, how much you would give them? The facilities. Well, uh, no, I think uh, it's very well organized. Uh -huh. It's very well organized, mm -hmm. and uh, there is uh, a discipline. Good. Uh, the police, uh, uh, the policemen are doing their jobs mm -hmm. quite, uh, quite right. The judges are also. Uh, uh, they they deserve our appreciations, and uh, I think uh, as far as you know the organization mm -hmm. of election in Kuwait, uh, it's quite it's quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would I would think that we should also use electronic voting. I mean, instead of uh, voting and uh, dropping your uh, voting card in a, in a box, mm -hmm. you should vote electronically. Electron and, uh, okay, so this is one of the... There are now yeah, possibilities that you can vote fr from home. 
okay. uh, through the internet. Exactly. And uh, this also will allow Kuwaitis who are abroad to be able to vote. But don't you think there will be some plagiarism in, 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 in these kind of... Well, you know, there, there are many programs that would control that. Okay. And you, you can have security programs that, that will enable uh, those who will, uh, 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 you know, uh, verify the results yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, be, to be sort of confident of the, of the programs. So, and, uh, so I think uh, it's being done in every country yeah. and, and that will also will make it easy to, to know the results yeah, exactly. as early as possible. As possible, that's yes. true. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, since you uh, uh, mentioned the youth and I know uh, it seems to me you believe in youth, but I want to hear your answer after this uh, short break. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, about to take a, now we will take a short break and then we'll come back to continue our questions with the, our uh, former chairman of Economic Society, uh, Mr. Amr Atimimi. Uh, we are back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, today is 27th of July 2013 and we are away for a few hours uh, to uh, start, uh, uh, you know, uh, uncovering the votes and uh, try to uh, do, uh, have some results. Uh, and uh, I would like to welcome you also back with us, uh, Mr. Ahmed Tamimi, the, the chairman, the former chairman of the Economic uh, Society. Uh, since you mentioned the youth, uh, Mr. Tamimi, uh, what do you think, uh, first of all, what's the impact of the uh, youth voting? Let's say today we said, okay, youth uh, will vote uh, uh, from 18 years of age. So what would be the impact on the society or the results? Well, you know, you, the youth now, it talking about the youth who are able to vote, those mm -hmm. who are 20 years, uh, 21 years and older. Yeah. And as you know, the structure of the Kuwaiti population, you have mm -hmm. almost 84% of the Kuwaitis are less than 40 years old. Mm -hmm. So this is a young society. Young society, exactly. Very young society. So I would expect that most of the voters now mm -hmm. are very young. That's true. And uh, therefore, those voters, the young voters, they have their aspirations. They, they want to have a better life in the future. Exactly. Uh, they want to secure, uh, you know, the good willing of their uh, good will of their families in exactly. the future. Uh, so they, uh, they also want to have secure jobs. They want yeah. to have good occupations, good... Uh, Decent and honored yeah, life, yeah. And, uh, but the problem is that, in, you know, the Kuwait and Kuwait, the educational system mm -hmm. did not produce equipped youth, uh -huh. equipped young people so you are who, can, who can contribute better to the Kuwaiti economy yeah, so and to the development of the Kuwaiti. Exactly. So you are uh, implying to, to, to the educational system that they have to implement uh, some classes about uh, democracy and about uh, voting and about election. Is that what you're implying? Yes. I, uh, th not only that, but uh, uh, this, uh, the issue which ma you mentioned are very important. Mm -hmm. I think that we should teach young people, especially those who are in the secondary s school levels, mm -hmm. uh, we have to teach them about the Kuwaiti constitution, we have to teach them about uh, human rights values, uh, we have to teach them how to practice democracy, mm -hmm. how to respect others, how to be able to uh, tolerate others' opinions. Exactly. So uh, y you, you want to, to develop a tolerant society, mm -hmm. and you cannot do that unless you, d you educate the people, you the young people, and, and, and the schools and uh, starting from the secondary school when they after the adolescence uh, period of the uh, when they become yo young men or young women so you teach them how to to understand democracy mm -hmm. and what democracy means because many people think that he has the ultimate uh, uh, truth exactly and the other and they don't the, <laughs> yeah. the others they yeah, don't. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, this is a big problem, exactly. and, and especially in third world society. And Kuwait mm. is one yeah. of those societies. Yeah. Uh, you have to teach people how to be able to tolerate other opinions and other uh, other other people. You know, so so. 
And Mr. Tamimi, uh, otherwise, if we don't implement, uh, w w basically, what are you saying? If we don't implement these kind of uh, classes and uh, educational systems, especially for youth and youngsters, uh, we will have confused youth and we will have uh, maybe immature uh, decision and, and uh, decisions or voting. Is that what you're implying for? Cause no, cause I think that, uh, you know, the educational system yeah. in Kuwait, although we have now more than 75 years of discipline or educational discipline yes. since 1936. Yeah. Uh, I mean that the Kuwaitis still have a, a small participation in the labor force. Mm -hmm. We still dependent on uh, expatriates. Yeah, uh, that's true. The Mm -hmm. Native labor force mm -hmm. represents only 16% of the total labor force in the country. Oh, okay. uh, we don't have a skilled labor mm -hmm. among the Kuwaitis. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is, I think, because we don't have uh, vocational mm -hmm. education in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. We have to train people to do all th the necessary mm -hmm. jobs and activities. Uh, we don't. We don't only want uh, white collar mm -hmm. workers. We want yeah. also blue collar workers. Exactly. Those who, uh, you know, work uh, with their w w hands yeah. rather than. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know. I know. Yes. I know. What you're saying we want yes. hands hand, hands on experience. Yes. Yeah. Uh, w which industry you think they want the youth uh, the most? Which industry? Yeah. What do you think? Well, we now in Kuwait, uh, we don't have really ac other industry than field, other mean. than the oil industry. Okay, yeah. And uh, we're still in the oil industry, we're still dependent mm -hmm. on expatriates. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are many Kuwaitis in the oil industry, but, but still they are, they are not, you know, a, a big percentage exactly. there. Uh, other than that, you, you have other manufacturing mm -hmm. in Kuwait, but you, you hardly see Kuwaitis in, in the manufacturings. Uh, most Kuwaiti work for the government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. and you know the government, the government yeah. they now have mm -hmm. redundant jobs. You have disguised unemployment in the exactly. government. Exactly. People, people are employed, but they don't contribute. Exactly. You don't see any contribution, real contribution. So, so no, this is no this, is a, this is a problem. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. what you have to do is you have to uh, restructure the educational system. And uh, parallel to that, you have to restructure the economy in order to enhance the private sector mm -hmm. to assume more responsibility. Yeah. And one of those responsibilities is employing the Kuwaitis, Kuwait, not, yeah. not depending on expatriates. That's true. Yes. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, let's uh, <coughs> talk a little bit about the media and uh, regarding the election. Uh, the media, we, uh, I mean, uh, can we say that in Kuwait we have too much social media usage? okay, uh, that is actually defeated its useful purposes. Is that true? Yes. I mean, I to a certain extent? Many people are involved in social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a big percentage of, of yeah. the Kuwaitis. Uh, but I mean, the social media, does it d uh, serve the purpose uh -huh. of, 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 uh, what of do you an think? united society? What do you think? Did it serve its purpose or? No, I think uh, the it does in a way, mm -hmm. but in another way, it has negative effects uh -huh. because people will start arguing with each other, mm -hmm. uh, slandering each mm -hmm. other, uh, and they also uh, insulting other people. Uh, this is why you, you have so many people are taken to court because exactly. of what they say on, on the cases, social yeah. media, on Twitter yeah. or Facebook. Uh, so I think uh, mm -hmm. we have to use social media in order to serve the purpose of enhancing mm -hmm. development in Kuwait. Yes. Uh, uh, what about uh, the young people? Do you think young people more dependent on Twitter, WhatsApp, blogs, and all these uh, social networks and applications? Oh, now, yes. You know, uh, now, I mean, even uh, if they read the newspaper, they read it through the social media or th through the internet. Uh, uh, y many young people now, they, uh, they, d uh, they don't read uh, Newspaper. Hard copies. Yeah, the newspaper. hard copy, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this, <laughs> That's uh, true. this is, this is uh, I mean, this is what we expect in the future to mm -hmm. take place. I mean, people will, will go to the social media, to the internet, in order to be informed about what's going on in the world, 
uh, and I think young people here in Kuwait yeah. are very well much involved in, uh, in Twitter. And, uh, Do you think they will be dependent in making their decisions on these kind of social networks or no, they will try to? To a great to extent, yes. To, uh, to, ro to yes. a certain extent. Yeah, to a great will. extent. They oh. are influenced what they receive through the social uh -huh. media. So that would be, and I hope it's, uh, it's going to be in a positive use then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Tamimi, let's uh, talk about the woman issue. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, what about women? What do you think of the women in uh, Kuwaiti society? Well, women, as you know, that they uh, were able to have their uh, political right in uh, 2006, uh, uh, five. Five, yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is. I think because of, of the great effort mm -hmm. uh, exerted by His, uh, His Highness the Emir, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course uh, the late Sheikh Emir, yes, yeah. the late Emir yeah. Sheikh Jabir Sheikh was Jabir. also influential yeah. in, in enhancing yeah. the political rights of women. Exactly. But uh, still, women uh, don't have full rights because of there are there are mm -hmm. many laws which which uh -huh. restrict women rights. Is I mean, I mean. Do you, do you uh, refer that to mani managerial orders of from being uh, implemented? I mean, the clashes in the assembly, the people, they don't have that feeling uh, for women? Or what uh, do you think, the, the reason of not uh, having a, for a for full not Voting rights? for women? Yeah. I think, you know, uh, we have 50% of the voters, uh, of the voters, 53%. Action. Of the voters, yeah, more, yeah, women, is more female, than, yeah, females, yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, you have to blame wo uh, women Ex themselves, exactly. not exactly. voting for their uh, sisters. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, as can as candidates, mm -hmm. and 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 this elections, we have only eight ladies running for uh, for election. So I hope that we will be able to uh, elect three or four of them. Uh, I mean, uh, p maybe yeah. three, uh, three of them will have a were chance. They, were they up to the expectation? Uh, yes, of course. Some of them are, uh, yeah. you know, very well equipped uh -huh. politically uh -huh. and uh, intellectually, and they can handle uh, the issue very, very mm -hmm. well. And uh, I think uh, those who were elected <coughs> were capable of advancing uh, uh, the political rights of, of, of the Kuwaitis, w women and men. W w what do you think? Uh, uh, for this coming election. Do you expect uh, we will see uh, female MPs, parliament members? I expect to see. Uh, More than four or? Between two or three. Two or three. Yeah, because, you know, as I said, uh, and, and the district where women have better rights, mm -hmm. uh, better, uh, better chances yeah. of being elected, yeah. you, don't have see m you don't see many female candidates. So, so I, I, I expect no more than a three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, w w uh, l let's uh, a little bit uh, go further. You're saying uh, two to three, uh, you expect two to three. How to change this perception uh, or this perspective of Kuwait so society? W what's the recipe you would uh, present, uh, Mr. Tamimi, well, to I change this? Uh, uh, as I mentioned, you know, that uh, you, uh, when you run here in in Kuwait for an election, you mm -hmm. run as an individual, uh, not as a representative of a political oh, party. Okay. Once we have political parties, parties, then those parties will have some ladies running on their behalf. And uh, another way is to have a quota, but in order to have a quota for women, you have to amend the constitution. Uh, but I, I believe that even without a quota, I think in the future, yeah. when we have better political organization and uh, uh, we have legalized political parties, then I, I expect to see more mm -hmm. female members uh, in the parliaments. And uh, <coughs> uh, I, w uh, I would like to shift to uh, the economic, uh, uh, and which is your field, Mr. Amr. Uh, Kuwait is a financial hub to the world, how far we are from this uh, dream? We are far away. <laughs> 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 we are so you're not, you're not optimistic? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think in order to develop a financial hub, yeah. 
you have to amend many laws that govern economic activities mm -hmm. in Kuwait, and you have to uh, change the perception of investors mm -hmm. abroad about, about Kuwait. Uh, also, you have to uh, streamline the bureaucracy, make it more, uh, more receptive uh -huh. to foreign investor, investors. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and also, you have uh, to amend many laws that uh, restrict the activities of the private sector. As you know that Kuwait is heavily dependent on uh, government spending. Yeah. And the government is sort of dominant player mm -hmm. in the Kuwait economy. Mm -hmm. In order to make Kuwait a financial hub, you have to have a better, better role for the private sector, local and foreign. For, okay. and, uh, and we have to, as I mentioned, that make, make the bureaucracy more uh, understanding of 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 the need of uh, of private sector activities in Kuwait. Yeah. Uh, are you a true believer of privatization? Privatization? Yeah. Privatization. We have a law, which mm -hmm. was uh, enacted a few years ago, mm -hmm. but uh, still it's not put uh, uh, to effect because ah. of, of, of the bureaucracy, because of of certain laws. We have to privatize many activities that the government is is taken care of now. We have to, uh, uh, for instance, electricity, water supply, uh, telecommunication. Uh, we have not been able to e even to privatize Kuwait Airways. Yeah. Although they but, but don't you think there is like another opinion, Mr. Uh, Tamimi, saying if you pri privatize everything, then they will be a d uh, there will be sharing and decision making for Kuwait. Is that true saying or? <coughs> well, uh, y of course you have to uh, shift the decision making of, of uh, the government of economic activities mm. to to the private sector, or or at least to have the private sector share in the decision making process. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. I mean, for if you want to have a free economy, mm -hmm. the private sector must have must have a role. And, 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 and must have a making. say uh -huh. in, in, in making the decisions. Don't you uh, think this is will affect the sovereignty of the state of Kuwait? No, I don't think so. The sovereignty of the state, no. I mean, as far as natural resources mm -hmm. are owned by the state, okay. according to the Constitution. Mm -hmm. But all activities could be privatized, all activities. And if you don't want to have a fully privatized economic system, mm -hmm. you can have uh, sort of uh, uh, mix, uh, mixed mixed uh, economy. I mean, you have private sector with uh, with the uh, with the government sector owning certain activities together, mm -hmm. and uh, this could be an alternative. Okay. And we had that in the 60s and the 70s. Yeah. And before the first oil shock, uh, the private sector played a, a major role in the development of Kuwait. Mm -hmm. Many of the Kuwaiti. Uh, important companies were established uh, in, in, in a, co a collaboration between the private sector and the government sector. Mm -hmm. And after, after the first oil shock, when the government had so much money, it induced the private sector to sell it shares in many mm -hmm. companies, including some companies which, which worked in the oil sector, like Kuwait, KMBC, Kuwait National Petroleum yeah. Company, yeah. Uh, Kuwait, tan uh, Kuwait Tanker, oil tanker company and mm. others so i think we have to go back to that to that formula yeah. in order to enhance uh, the participation of the private sector and also uh, when you privatize you also have to to uh, tell the private sector uh, to be responsible for the employment of the kuwaitis mm -hmm. of the training of the kuwaitis yeah. and to be able to uh, have more competitive environment in order to control the prices of, of the services mm -hmm. and the commodities. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, and, and the laws uh, stipulate for such things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the law, I mean the privatization law, mm -hmm. all you have to do are now implement it and then you, you can amend it in order to uh, see to the results uh, later to serve better. Mm -hmm. the economy. better. Uh, wh what do you think of the effect of the National Assembly? Majlis al-Ummah today on that formula.
Do you think they were really implementing uh, privatization or there were a lot of obstacles and clashes? And Unfortunately, most members who are elected to the parliaments mm. are populist in mm. their mentality. <laughs> they want to, to appease the people by giveaways. Okay. Uh, and they want to uh, uh, just to t uh, tell the people that we will increase their s your salaries, we will, we will uh, help you get uh, uh, good, uh, uh, good care by the government. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, they don't, they don't pay attention mm -hmm. to the need of having the Kuwaitis more responsible and more uh, productive yeah and uh, and they uh, they enhance uh, uh, and uh, laziness and, and irresponsible yeah. society, and society and this is this That's is the problem and i hope that we will be able to elect some some members who will pay attention to the need of restructuring the mentality of the political system but let's face it mr tamimi don't you think you have to also talk to the business people or quote unquote in Kuwaiti at Tajar, uh, not, uh, not to uh, raise the prices, and uh, uh, then the government will not be uh, uh, forced to increase salaries. I mean, well, that kind of also formula. I think, I think uh, in order to tackle the problem of uh, inflation, inflation, uh, yeah. you have to have uh, a competitive economy. I mean, in every sector, you have to have many companies. Allow everybody who wants to do an activity to go and have his, his company mm. uh, to serve the people, uh, to bring uh, uh, products and commodities to the country and to compete. You have to have fair competition and the competition will reduce the prices, not mm -hmm. increase it. Do you think this is implemented in our society? Uh, well, this is what they call an economy. Mm. You have to have a supply side economy. You have to uh, supply more than the demand is requ uh, requires. We are uh, we are very happy uh, with the, with the, our conversation, Mr. Tamimi. We'll have a short break and we'll be back to continue our conversation. Uh, dear viewers, short break and we'll be back. Good evening, uh, dear viewers. We are on uh, Democratic Day of Kuwait, and it's 27th of July, 2013, and we are here with uh, our honored guest, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Amr Tamimi, the, ch the former chairman of the Economist Society of Kuwait. Uh, Mr. Amr, uh, back uh, to our conversation. We were <coughs> talking about the business be businessmen, they kind of uh, actually, uh, regarding the economist people, do you, do you uh, advise the voters to uh, elect economists? Well, maybe they don't like them <laughs> <laughs> because, because they have some ideas that are not very popular. Yeah. But uh, in, the, in the past, uh, we had some members in the parliaments who, who were economists or, okay. or, or accountants. Uh, they uh, they serve well, you know, uh, in the committees. Uh, but you know what? We we need better representation of the private sector. Mm -hmm. I mean, people who represent the business community. The business community, okay. Yeah. So I, I think the business community lost uh, some of its political influence in mm -hmm. the past few years, uh, and now uh, most members are are inclined to be more populist, mm. uh, more uh, Publicist, populist, and yeah. they, they are probably anti-business. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, some of them are. Uh, this, is, this is one of the problem of, uh, of not making Kuwait a financial hub. I mm -hmm. mean, if you have the, pol the political society in large uh, is sort of anti-business, you cannot expect to have a financial hub. Nobody will come and invest. Exactly. Uh, uh, his money in Kuwait or True. and yeah. uh, and be secured you know that this is why Kuwait is not attracting uh, mm -hmm. uh, investment uh, as, you know as as much as uh, the other Gulf state you know Kuwait mm. uh, hardly attract 500 million dollars a year 
while you know in Abu Dhabi or in uh, uh, Emirates, for instance, mm -hmm. they, they they attract more than twelve billion dollars a year. Oh, so okay. Saudi Arabia around yeah. twenty five billion to twenty six billion dollars a year. Mm. So so you have to have a, a, a business environment which is a friendly with mm -hmm. with uh, with uh, with, uh, with the private sector so mm -hmm. in order to uh, enhance the ability of of uh, establishing a financial hub what do you think of the bot system in kuwait don't you think it's attracting more business and more uh, uh, currency uh, to kuwait more cash bureaucracy uh, no no bot bot yeah bot uh, you know, the we we had many uh, projects mm -hmm. done according uh, to the BOT formula, mm -hmm. but then the parliament enacted a law which restricted oh. the investors and uh, uh, made uh, you know any BOT project uh, a losing concern, and this is why many uh, many investors shun the BOT formula. Mm -hmm. Now I think the parliament is expected. Uh, to amend the law to ma uh, to enhance uh, the BOT that's projects. That will lead us to the, to the next question, which is, uh, what do you think, uh, what do you expect the uh, a new agenda for the parliament, this coming parliament? I, I think it, uh, I think with the, with the government effort, Yeah. I mean, the government has to put an effort in order to convince many members of the parliament mm -hmm. to amend the law in order to be able to uh, implement BOT projects. And BOT projects could, uh, could be done in many uh, sectors and many activities. I mean, even in the housing sectors. I mean, in order to enhance the private sector to, to provide housing to the Kuwaitis and to help the government uh, meet the need of the Kuwaitis for housing, uh, I think you have to, to encourage the private sector to invest their money. Exactly. Uh, yes. so this is a big issue, the yes, housing. It yeah, is that's, very that's important. That's I mean. Very important and issue. I, I, they also Why we need to wait 15 to 20 years to get our Yeah, house. they also can uh, assume responsibility to, to develop new cities, mm -hmm. new, uh, new towns, uh, taking care even of the infra infrastructure mm -hmm. of, of such projects. Uh, w what about taxation, Mr. Tamimi? Do you believe in taxation? Taxation is very important mm -hmm. in any financial system anywhere in the world. But I'm in order to have taxation, you have to have better service involvement mm. of the private sector. Okay. I mean, uh, you uh, first of all, you have to tax the companies. Exactly. Uh, the net profit of the companies. Exactly. Uh, so you have to enlarge th the area where the private sector can play. Uh -huh. Okay. At the same time, uh, taxation of uh, individual incomes or family income yeah. Uh, that should be also progressive. I mean, uh, okay, the more not like the more money you get, you, you, the higher percentage uh, of tax. So, so this will lead us to an income tax. In income tax, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's not corporate tax. Okay. Corporate no, tax. No, no. Let's say on the, in the on the basis of the individual. You know, uh, when you say there will be a progressive taxation, then uh, he, they, there will be an income tax for that uh, individual. Yes, you 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 can exempt many many people with mm. lower income of okay. taxes. Okay. And uh, then you have brackets. If each bracket, there is a percentage mm -hmm. of income that will be paid as tax. Do you think the business uh, people will allow that? <laughs> I think the uh, Ministry of Finance, they, mm. they, had, uh, they had a sort of proposed law mm. for that. Uh, I, I saw it, mm. uh, it's reasonable. I mean, they were thinking of uh, uh, levying tax on uh, on individual income of no less than thirty thousand mm -hmm. KDs per year. Per year, and many people don't make that much money. Yeah. Uh, so That's yeah. true, yeah. Uh, Mr. Tamimi. Uh, I heard you are, you have very you are very uh, you have a huge interest in the cinema. Uh, first of all, what's your favorite movie? What's that? What's your favorite movie? I know it's an unexpected question, but... <laughs> favorite? Uh, fa favorite movie in the cinema? Godfather. Godfather, oh, yeah. Yes. Al Pacino. Casablanca. Yeah. Casa <laughs> uh. yeah. S so, uh, 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 we... Uh, uh, 
How about uh, the National Assembly? You think uh, they have a uh, great interest in uh, cinema industry in Kuwait? Cinema in Kuwait uh, is a big challenge. Mm. I mean, uh, I mean, we uh, we have many many people, many young people now who mm. who uh, produce some some films, documentaries. Uh, mis yeah. Documentaries yeah. Yeah. and uh, feature films, short or long, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a big challenge. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, we have our reporter and uh, uh, constituents, uh, f the fifth constituency. Uh, uh, let's say hello to our uh, reporter, uh, Salim Al Ajmi. Salim, can you hear me? Uh, good to yes, hear I from can you. Hear you. Yeah. Loud and clear. Yeah, and uh, tell us uh, hello, what's hello going to on. Mr. Amir at Tamimi. I am. Uh, I'm speaking to you now from the fifth constituency. As you know, this is the biggest constituency in Kuwait with yeah. over 120,000 voters. Uh, and I'm here in uh, Abdullah Al Ahmed School in Dahiya Jabir Al Ali area, no. which amounts to 5,639 yes. uh, voters. Uh, so far, the the turnout has been uh, really positive and good, especially in the early hours of the morning and after uh, lesser prayers here, mm. uh, really good, number good numbers turned out. Uh, right now, approximately, and these are uh, initial figures that I'm giving to you, around 53.5% of uh, this school have already voted mm. and uh, I, I can see until now there are still many voters waiting to cast their ballots uh, either in this uh, committee or in the committees next door. In uh, neighboring areas, I've been to Dahiyat uh, Sabah Al Salim, I've been to Al Sabahiyah, uh, I've been to Al Dahar, uh, which are really crowded residential areas. Uh, turnout has been really positive and uh, maybe uh, to an unexpected level. Judges here and even authorities are expecting many numbers to come after iftar. You know, we are approaching yeah. iftar time in less than an hour. Yeah. So they are expecting many people to come after iftar time. But th what they say is they will open the doors until 8 p.m. and every citizen inside the schools until uh, around 8 p.m. Uh, will be uh, able to cast their ballots even if they stay for a little while longer. Uh, Salem, uh, tell me about the general feeling. What, 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 have you uh, chit-chatted with the people, with the voters? What they think? Yes, it's, it's been the generally a positive atmosphere. If you come at the early uh, hours of the morning, you can see the elderly or the yeah. senior citizens, if you like, and they are really excited, and you can see people with special need coming, you know, through this really hot yeah. weather. And, uh, you know, people are fasting during the holy month of Ramadan, but still people turned out in good number. They actually reflected their beliefs in democracy and their right to vote. Maybe around the, the, the time between 12 and 4, uh, the number of voters dropped a little, understandably, yeah. because, you know, because yeah, of the heat, yeah. it was over 46 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Uh, Salem, is, was there any violation or any uh, uh, problems? No, 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 not at all. Actually, it has been really smooth. Smooth, uh, nice. Uh, from the morning until now, uh, in all schools that I have been to, uh, the authorities, even volunteers, have been really helpful to journalists, to the elderly, to people with special needs, and to citizens in general. Uh, wish you all the best, Salim Al Ajmi from the fifth uh, constituency. Thank you very much, Salim, and we will uh, come back later on uh, after uh, maybe one hour, and we'll see uh, any updates. Thank you, Salim. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tamimi. We are back to you. We were with the Salim Al Ajmi, one of our reporters in the fifth uh, constituency, and he was he gave us a good positive feedback. You know, say, saying that people where uh, elder people were voting in the early morning and then the, during the noon you know it's heated so everybody w it w dropped a little bit but then now people pouring in and uh, the judges expecting that uh, the people will be increasing increasing huge numbers especially and they will open the doors 
before eight. So I yeah, think by now eight they will close. They have better uh, participation now. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's go uh, back to the uh, National Assembly and the effect on, let's say, the cinema sector. And uh, and I, I heard you are a big fan of the cinema and you, you have... Yeah, you I, I was a founder <coughs> of the Kuwait Cinema Club. MashaAllah, good. And uh, I still enjoy watching movies. Mm. Uh, I also follow up on the, the new developments in the, in the movie industry. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I try also to encourage young Kuwaiti to produce their films. What I do you also think? try to encourage the government to support such support films. These. Yeah. What do you think of these uh, short films, short Kuwaiti films? W what do you think of these? Well, this is a beginning, I think. They are yeah. uh, it's a very important to, uh, to produce it's short, like the first short, step. short yeah. films. And yeah. Uh, and also you have to encourage uh, people to uh, produce uh, documentary mm -hmm. uh, films uh, to uh, touch upon s specific subject like social subject environment yeah. uh, uh, some hobbies some uh, so people uh, will be able to uh, develop their uh, abilities of producing films mm -hmm. and also uh, now uh, we have good producers good uh, directors mm -hmm. who can produce uh, feature films w uh, based on uh, uh, stories and s social issues. Yeah. And uh, uh, do you think the National Assembly uh, should have more interest and more legislation uh, regarding that uh, issue? Because, uh, uh, I mean, the, the movie industry, uh, Mr. Tamimi, is uh, booming and it's leading. You know, we have Hollywood, Bollywood, you know, and we have maybe in uh, uh, Europe uh, a lot of uh, parades about uh, the movies. So what do aren't, aren't we have to focus uh, the, the, the next agenda on a little bit? And this is also considered a financial issue. Well, I hope that, you know, we have a, a responsible uh, National Assembly. But more important, we have to have a good council of ministers, mm -hmm. a strong council of ministers with the strong ministers who are equipped to deal with all the uh, tasks and with all the issues. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, the, uh, if the people made uh, the right decision mm -hmm. during this election, yeah. we will have uh, better representatives of the people in the parliament and people who will, uh, you know, touch upon the economic issues, the mm. development issues. Most important, I think, is that we have to pay attention to education. Education is, is, is a crucial it's issue. Crucial issue yeah. I mean, other than oil, the, the other wealth which we have is a human wealth. Human, yeah. We have to develop that wealth. That's human. And we have to improve the quality Mike, of the, mankind, of the yeah. human resources yeah. uh, in order to face the, the challenges of uh, the international economy in the, uh, in the common years. Because as you know, we are exposed to the international economy because we are dependent on oil and oil exports. And, and the international economy is now facing some difficulties. Mm -hmm. Many countries yeah. now, uh, consumer countries, uh, oil consumer countries, yeah are facing some recessions, mm -hmm. uh, like especially European countries. Yeah. So uh, we have to be able to, uh, to face such challenges in the coming years. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, uh, speaking of the international uh, economy, uh, the current situation raises uh, critical questions uh, as uh, how much political turmoil could influence Kuwait close relation with the West. I mean, these kind of, you know, uh, situations we have here, are they going to affect our relation with the West countries? I mean, the Western societies? <coughs> we have to, uh, we have to have good relations with Western uh, countries. I mean, uh, uh, they are, uh, they uh, import uh, our oil, not only Western, also Asian mm -hmm. countries. We have to develop good uh, relations with all countries of the world. We have to be open with all countries. We have to cooperate with the international community. Mm -hmm. Kuwait 
uh, was liberated from occupation uh, by the international community. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, are, we have to develop better relations with, with all countries of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, we have to do it on fair, uh, fair terms. Yeah. I mean, we have to protect our rights. At the same time, we have to open our economy f f uh, to, uh, to induce uh, international investors yeah. to come to Kuwait mm -hmm. and to uh, help us develop our economy, uh, to cooperate with our private sector and with our public sector in order to raise the quality of, uh, of the Kuwaiti economy yeah. And at the same time, raise the efficiency of our people. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, Kuwait's parliament is the most politically outspoken in the Gulf uh, uh, Arab states. But uh, criticism is typically confined uh, to its uh, performance and its relation with the other governmental uh, uh, elements, such as ministers. Is that, the, uh, is that just one side of democracy uh, is or it is personalized uh, political experience uh, that only exists in Kuwait. Because, you know, in, in, in our parliament, there were, there were a lot of uh, dispute or clashes. So is that like the only face of Kuwaiti parliament? Because, you know, uh, according to the perception of the Arab states, we are maybe, the, the, let's say, the, ha the, the oldest democracy. Uh, but our democracy, uh, unfortunately, uh, going into more uh, disagreements in, in a parliament. I mean, is this the only side they can see us from? Well, this is a situation which is uncontrollable, <coughs> you know, because you cannot restrict uh, the rights of a member of the parliament exactly. to, uh, to say what they mm -hmm. have in mind. Uh, they can criticize mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Kuwaiti uh, relations with any Arab countries. They, they have the right to do that, but but uh, the problem with the, with the other uh, countries is that some of those countries, they don't understand that in democracy, people will say whatever they want. Exactly. Uh, and, and, and disagreements are the nature yeah, of the it's, democracy. It's, uh, this is, this is, you know, this is uh, the practice of democracy. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, uh, what do you think of uh, the, the GCC? Uh, how do the other GCC countries uh, look at us? I mean, what do they think of us? Do they think, uh, for <coughs> example, with, uh, are they uh, with, uh, looking at us with alarmed eyes or, uh, with, uh, 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 or do they uh, see something different and more positive? Well, you know, in, in GCC, you have only two countries, or maybe three now, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Oman, yeah. who have constitutional systems. Okay. Uh, and, and of course, Kuwait is the most advanced system and the oldest system. I mean, uh, uh, we have been uh, with that uh, constitutional system since mm -hmm. 1961, mm -hmm. 62. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think in, in the coming years, you will see democratic practices in all GCC countries. Uh, they, they are developing, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, yeah. Qatar, they are uh, progressing toward uh, uh, representative systems. And they will allow their people to have, uh, you know, uh, a role in, 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 in the political decision making. Mm. So I, I think in the next coming years, we will, we will be able to, uh, to see more harmony mm -hmm. among the GCC countries. GCC countries. And, and I think well, uh, they have been able to be more uh, progressive economically mm -hmm. than Kuwait because, uh, as, you, as we say, that uh, bureaucracy in Kuwait restricted the progress here. But uh, GCC country politically uh, will have to uh, amend their system uh, uh, through the democratic process. Uh, Mr. Tamimi, uh, last question because we are coming to the end of our interview. Uh, how uh, are we yet to see other kinds of majorities in a new assembly or no, we will see always separate and independent MPs? I mean, you know, we have sub parties, you know. Do you think we will have more of those or the results will be you know, mostly uh, independent MPs and individuals? Most what? Minorities, for example. 
minorities? Yeah. Will they be representative in uh, this assembly? Yeah, I mean, with the, with this one man, one vote system, I yeah. think the minorities will be better represented. Represented. Yes. Uh, but hopefully they will choose the right representatives. Yes. And uh, at, the, at the end, I would like to thank you, uh, the former chairman of the uh, Economy Society of Kuwait, uh, uh, Mr. Amr Tamimi. Uh, we, I had a great pleasure to uh, have this conversation with you, uh, and uh, we wish Kuwait and wish you the best. Thank uh, you for the opportunity. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, about to take a break, and then we'll have uh, this uh, uh, documentary is assembly and uh, the uh, world issues. So let's go and see this uh, doc. Stay tuned and let's go and see it.